Donors say the lessons on governance of the multi-billion shilling peace recovery and development program, PRDP, which they have funded to the tune of 123.5 billion shillings, must be critically reviewed ahead of any future disbursements. About how it's different in Kedi or Karamoja or Acholi and so on. Because that, that information that they have there gives you a very solid baseline for understanding the context you're in and, and the programs that, uh, that you, want to, you want to develop. The World Bank and the British donor arm, DFID, have been the lead funders of the multi-billion kitty that sought to expand on skills and enterprise growth among the population in the north and eastern parts of the country. Skills, hands. What are the skills? We have lost opportunities. The roads that we were talking about, tarmac and you know, and so on. What does that really translate to us as women? Uh, the pastoral land is going to Tororo Semen, to uh, Dao taking Mabo, to I think Mr. Magal uh, going, going for gold. So where are the people? These concerns have emerged during a consultative review engagement convened by International Art that brought together donors, lawmakers and civil society actors here in Kampala. But what is very important, especially as we think about the next phase of the Peace Recovery and Development Plan, it's very important for us, uh, for the development partners, for government, to focus on the physical and psychological wounds that were inflicted on the people in the 20 years of war. Corruption scandals have been at the center of the PRDP and NUSAF initiatives, which donors have anchored their counter-development support to the populations in the once war-torn regions. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.